Ah, that's great. That's cool. Did you, um, and I'll ask everybody this, but was there any sort of real struggle when you first started? Like, oh, my gosh, how am I, I going to do this? Oh, and- my gosh, yes. Mm. I was so frightened. I literally would sit off to the side and just watch everybody because I, I really didn't know what I was doing. I had no preparation other than how Marlena had mentored me. Thank God for Vincent. I met with him a couple days before and he helped me with my speech. I had no clue what I was doing or what I was walking into. All I knew know is I really wanted to do well. That's really incredible, Diana. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, I was pretty impressed when I first went down there to, I think I've done two judging panels now and I was really impressed. Um, the, the bravery of everybody, you know, um, and just sharing, you know, what they've gone through and what their passion is. And, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's one of those things. I, I think Marlene would be the same and you all would agree that it'd be really good to get this, um, like, globally around the planet, you know, like it's starting other little events in other countries, you know, where women can get a, cho- a chance to get up and do I mean, I know that's a big... It's a big thing, but it's not impossible. Um, but it would be great to see it spread, you know. Um, Can I just really quick tell you about our purpose statement at Women of Achievement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our absolutely. purpose statement is Women of Achievement acknowledges the beauty and service, self development, education amongst today's modern, concise version of women. And I mean, that is true. Every word of it. Marlena, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I'm the one who came up with that. So yes, yeah. you did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, you did. The, the whole, the whole point of it is really, you know what I love about Women of Achievement is a lot of women get back in touch with talent. They, maybe they were dancers years ago or they spoke years ago, and they get – back in touch with their creativity at the event, the three-day event. So it's all about that. It's whether you're going back to school, whether you're speaking, performing, whether you have a nonprofit you're starting. By the end of the weekend, everybody knows everybody. We know the whole woman. We're not just looking on the outside. We look at the inside. You're going to see the entirety of each woman, and that's the beauty of it. That's how, it, that's how the three-day weekend works. That's really cool. Hey, Jennifer Hockaday, uh, it's a, it's a little impressive that you look like letters, but uh, what's your involvement in Woman of Achievement? <laughs> well, I started Woman of Achievement or started pursuing my, my dreams and aspirations with Woman of Achievement in 2019. Um, I guess you could say that I'm kind of in... Uh, old pageant tag. I've been doing pageants. <laughs> I've actually been doing pageants since I was in high school. And um, I competed in the Miss America system for four years. And I won non finalist talent award multiple times. Um, but I never won Miss South Dakota. And then I was first runner up to Miss South Dakota USA way back. I won't give the year because it will age me even more. Um, And then I took a break for a while. And then I got married. And that's part of my story. Um, And then I started competing in the Mrs. pageants for United America and Mrs. America. Um, I did that in Arizona, and also in Nevada. And then I took another break. And I was asked, to judge a pageant here locally in Northern Nevada, because I live in the capital city and that is not Las Vegas. That is Carson city, Nevada. Um, I can actually see Lake Tahoe from my driveway, the the ski slopes of Tahoe. Um, I judged a pageant and I got the bug again because pageantry gets into your blood and it really never goes away. Um, And I ran into, well, actually met, 
Franny Ramos, who has held several titles with Women of Achievement. And I also met Allison Heitman. And Allison and I were actually judging the pageant together. She was about ready to leave to go to Long Beach to compete. Um, and Franny was giving up her title as Miss Elite U.S., that year, Franny was uh, performing at the pageant that Allison and I were judging at. So they saw the sparkle in my eye. And immediately, I think even on the intermission, Allison called Marlena and was like, I've got somebody. Um, it was only a week before the 2019 pageant was to take place. So there was no way that I was even prepared because it had been so long. So uh, I was actually received the title of Miss Elite uh, Nevada. And I held that title for a whole year because COVID hit and the pageant was postponed. Um, getting back in touch with my, my platform, which is domestic violence and, um, my significant other Joel and I actually spoke, uh, with, um, the show, uh, last month. So Doug had my significant other Joel on his show, um, back in October. And we spoke about domestic violence and, that really was what I was super interested in as far as women of achievement goes is because they give, it gives women an opportunity to speak on their cause. Like Marlena said, um, I met Doug there and Andy was a judge that year. And I actually won my first year going to the woman of achievement as Ms. Elite US. So I was honored. I did so much that year. Um, I was able to speak the doors opened tremendously for me. I was just, I was welcomed to organizations to speak about, you know, my platform platform was what I was the most interested in. And I was able to speak, uh, to various organizations and it's because of woman of achievement that really gave me, you know, the leg in to be able to speak and, and have a little bit, I guess you want to call it clout to be able to go in and speak to people about my message. So I had already told Marlena that I was like a bad penny and I wasn't going to go away and I was going to be woman of achievement. I was going to be there for the long haul. This is like my mission now. I, I want and support and always will support women of achievement. So I went back um, to compete in the international division um, in August and I won that one too. So I'm a two-time woman of achievement national international winner. Um, and I just, I really look forward to what is to come with my pageantry. The other thing that it really got me back into was my talent. I mentioned that I was a, a non-finalist talent award in the Miss America organization. I actually played the violin and, um, I started playing again because of woman of achievement. And that was my talent when I went back the second time. So yeah, that's I, really I'm honored cool. to be part yeah. of it. I really am. Yeah, it's great, and it's really great to hear how uh, when you 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 go to do something different or something that you never thought even entered your mind till someone else speaks to you, and then it opens up all these other doors. And uh, yep. that's what I find uh, with myself and Doug and everybody else we interview. When people have a go at something and take a risk, it opens up other doors. That's really awesome. <laughs> Thank you.